2022 was a rough year for my YouTube channel. After about two years of getting millions and millions of views, gaining over 100,000 subscribers, and also raking in a six-figure income between my AdSense revenue and my other income streams, I fell into possibly the biggest creative rut I've been in since I first started my channel, and my channel definitely suffered for it. However, we are turning the page. 2022 is out, 2023 is in, and currently I am in the best mindset I've been where my channel is concerned probably since my channel first blew up. So after 12 months of inconsistent uploads, having absolutely no consistency in my content, losing a ton of subscribers, and having absolutely no plan for the future of my channel, we are now back in the game with a brand new strategy, a new blueprint for success, and I can definitely tell you that my new strategy is already working and I'm already seeing really really good results. So in this video I wanted to share with you guys what my new strategy strategy and my new blueprint for success and growth on YouTube is going to look like this year. So the very first step in my strategy for 2023 and my blueprint for growing on YouTube this year was to sort of redefine what growth means to me. Traditionally on YouTube, when you watch videos about how to grow on YouTube, most of all those videos, including lots of videos on my own channel, are very, very focused on getting your numbers to go up, to gain more subscribers, to get the highest possible view counts on your videos. This year, however, I am not just aiming to see my numbers go up because as I saw last year, even when I'm losing subscribers, even when my sub count is on a very sharp downwards trajectory, it is still entirely possible to be reaching an audience of people who genuinely want to hear what it is you have to say and also walk away with a six-figure income. So this year in 2023, I'm focusing on growing my consistency. I am focusing on growing an audience of people who are not only going to subscribe to my channel but actually want to keep coming back to my videos and seeing more of my content in the future and also continuing to grow my income so that I can keep having my passion be my full-time job. Then for the second part of my strategy, one of possibly the most integral parts of my entire blueprint was to figure out exactly what it is I'm creating and what it is I'm sharing with my audience. Back when my YouTube channel first blew up, literally every single word of every single video I was saying had to do with views and subscribers. In one way or another, every single video I was uploading and putting out there in front of my audience was about making your numbers go up. Then very quickly, I just got sick and tired of that content. I felt very burnt out. I then became very unmotivated and very uninspired. I had absolutely no idea what to create anymore and thus began my inconsistency. I spent a very large part of 2022 uploading a whole like hodgepodge of different content, really just trying to figure out what it was I did or didn't want to be uploading, but also trying to figure out the long-term and longevity and sustainability of my channel in the future, which of course only led to further inconsistency and confusing the heck out of YouTube's algorithm, as well as just turning a large majority of my audience off of my channel and my content. So in 2023, when it comes to what content I'm creating and niches and all of this, I am actually following the model created by one of my very good friends Tess Barclay, which I'm actually planning a whole video around in the next few days. But essentially for this model of finding your niche for social media in 2023, you are turning away from markets. You are not trying to find a niche, you are going to be a niche. You are essentially becoming a magnet for like-minded people and creating content that calls out to them, content that they relate to, content that they gravitate towards, content that really resonates with them, and most importantly, content that makes them want to keep coming back to your videos. So for me, that includes things like growing an audience on social media, learning how to monetize your following and build a full-time income off of social media, all things being a content creator and creating content, and also just building a job and a life that you love waking up to every single morning. It's pretty much exactly the content I was creating back in 2020 when my channel first blew up. However, rather than focusing on making making your numbers go up and growing your numbers. It's more so focused on growing your audience, growing your platform, growing your revenue, and growing your success and happiness. The absolute second that I figured out all of that and put a real structure and strategy to it, I was instantly just so motivated and inspired and excited. I instantly came up with like 50 different video ideas I could not wait to sit down and film, which to be completely 
honest with you guys, is a feeling I have not had in a very, very long time, probably since before my channel actually blew up. Now I have a whole bunch of different systems in place to really help me come up with content that is both going to be relevant and resonate with my audience, but also that is going to excite me and motivate me and inspire me to create. Now I can definitely see my content and my channel and my platform being a whole lot more sustainable. And I think it's definitely going to last a lot longer than my initial blow up did. Then the third very clutch part to my strategy in my blueprint was figuring out a content distribution plan. So for this, I actually went back and looked over all of my most popular videos and really dug into the analytics of every single one of them to really just sort of dissect and take apart and really understand what it was that made those videos so successful. It really helped me to understand where did all the views on those videos come from? How did all those videos actually reach people? How did those videos really help me to build an audience? It really helped me to take a bunch of notes on some really key takeaways so that I can sort of try to recreate that eventual success. So then I did a little bit of a dry run to sort of test out everything I had taken notes on, all of the key factors I had taken away. I did a little bit of keyword research and came up with a topic and video idea to sort of just test out my new strategy, which was a video all about monetizing YouTube shorts, how the new YouTube shorts monetization program works, how it pays creators, how all of your shorts revenue is calculated and exactly how much creators can expect to make. And then that video got about 2000 views or so within the first two days I uploaded it with a large majority of those views coming from YouTube search results as well as the recommended page, which is exactly from memory how every single one of those videos that blew up on my channel first actually took off was from a combination of reaching people through search rankings and reaching people on the recommended page. So going forward with my brand new strategy in 2023, I am not solely focused on creating searchable content. I am not solely focused on blowing up with the recommended page. I am focused on taking both of those traffic sources on YouTube and making them work sort of in tandem so that I'm giving every single one of my uploads their best possible chance of ranking really high in YouTube search and being recommended a whole lot on the recommended page. Sort of like the best of both worlds working together. So as far as content distribution and trying to actually reach my audience this year on YouTube, that is pretty much my strategy for going about it. Consistency, baby. This year is all about consistency. Being consistent in how often I'm uploading new content, being consistent with my content and my branding every single stretch and definition of the word. My channel first blew up in 2020 when I was consistently posting videos every two to three days when I was targeting a very specific audience and when every single one of my videos was giving my audience the same kind of value. And then it began to sort of die down when I flipped all of that on its head, when I was no longer uploading consistently, when my content began to be super scattered and messy, when the algorithm had no idea what I was doing, when my audience had no idea what I was doing and everything just sort of went down in a downwards trajectory. And it is absolutely no secret at this point that YouTube's algorithm does prefer channels that are consistent. So to get back into the good graces of the YouTube algorithm in 2023, I have to go back to all of my consistency practices and I definitely have faith that in the long run it will turn out exactly as I want it to. And then the final puzzle piece in my strategy for 2023 is to take all of my cues from YouTube. Personally, I have always found that YouTube's creator studio and analytics were always better than any other platform. However, even with really, really good and really in detail and useful analytics, sometimes it can be really, really hard to get inside the mind of your target audience and your subscribers and your viewers. So to have a part of every single one of your videos analytics where YouTube actually tells you in verbal written script exactly what is working, what isn't, what to improve on, do more of, do less of, that is absolutely game changing. When I have that video that took a nosedive in performance and then I have YouTube telling me it's because my audience showed a lower interest in that video, then I know that's a topic to not repeat too often on my channel and do something different. Then when I have that video that YouTube is telling me got three times more traffic and views than any content in the last year, all because over 5,000 views on that video came from search rankings, then I know what to double down on and do more of as part of my strategy. So that is what I'm really going to be honing in on and focusing on this year is rather than how to get my views and subscribers to go up, I'm going to be focusing on 
on what is it YouTube is telling me I need to do more of and less of. Rather than vanity metrics, I am focused on video performance and growth. So definitely in 2023, YouTube and YouTube's analytics are going to be my best friend when it comes to putting this strategy into practice. But yeah, you guys, that is it for this video. That is all that I wanted to share about my new strategy. Hopefully you guys found this insightful, interesting in some way, shape, or form. As always, thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Love you all to the moon and back, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!